1996, I interviewed three punk rock moms about their lives and values. In 2006, we filmed again to see what had changed for them and their children. It really affected me when Jefferson was born. It was like two months later, the Gulf War started. And I was still like just so nervous at having a, a child and like and just like hold Jefferson in my arms and like cry going oh my god you know I've brought a child into this horrible world and and I thought about like you know he's gonna grow up and be 18 one day he could like be drafted and have to go somewhere and like fight in some war and you know, be killed and it's like for what you know it's like I don't know even if I believe that people are allowed to do that to other people and that I mean the government like taking you know your your children away from you so that they can fight some like political battle for them Actually, not only is there another one now, another war, but Jefferson's getting to the age where in two and a half years, he's going to have to register for selective service. I'm opposed to that. Even though there's no draft in this country, they, at 18, all males have to register for selective service so that if there were a draft, they're registered and they just, they have the names to pick from. And if you don't register, then you lose eligibility for student aid, for student loans. If somebody wanted to draft my son and forcibly take him to war, I would go kill them. And what would I be doing? Protecting an American life. <laughs> Thank God there's no draft. I just, we would be going berserk right now. No work would be getting done. And I suppose that's maybe why they haven't done it yet. Hopefully I'm raising him so that he will think critically as far as all of that, you know, like, not, not even just like as far as war goes, but like think critically about the government, think critically about everything and really question why. What are they getting from you going over there? I don't think it's right to attack Iraq because like, I mean, if he was just gonna like, tell us where, like why we're going. I guess he, he shouldn't have lied. He should have like, come out and told us, or else like not go at all. Because of the way the United States has positioned itself around the world, that we've lost so much, much legitimacy. When I listen to the news every morning and hear about the United States dealing with other countries like Iran and Iraq and, you know, North Korea, who are we to like dictate? I mean, that's basically what we're trying to do is dictate to them how they should, you know, operate their own countries. And then I think, okay, fine. Okay, so I'm an American that is completely removed from my own government, and I would never send my kid to this shit or allow my kid to be sent to this shit. So then what does that make me? Like, I'm an expatriate in my own country or something. What are some of your thoughts about war? Join the conversation through video responses or comments on allswellandfair.com or any of our social media sites.